It's Van again with Kid Corner, and I'm interviewing the books from Shell Silverstein. The first book is The Missing Piece. It's a really, really good book. This is how thick it is, and it's about um. There's this little piece, and this is, there's this little guy, and he goes around and trying to find his missing piece. He thinks right here, there's a piece missing, but he doesn't have any piece that's missing. He just thinks that, and at the end, he figures out that he doesn't need a missing piece. That's how he was built. He, this is... This is one of the pictures, and he's looking for his missing piece. And that's what the writing looks like. And then, here's another one where he's talking to the wall. And then, another book I want to show you is A Giraffe and a Half. It's by him, too. And I read, the, like, I just got this, but I read it a whole, a really long time ago, but I got it from, but, um, my teacher has a bunch of books, and I read it they, at school. I took a test on it. I got a 100 A+. Plus. It's a really, really good book. Here's what the front looks like. And... Here's what one of the pictures looks like. And he, it's about this giraffe and this little boy. And the giraffe, like, the little boy calls it, he says, at the beginning he says, I have a giraffe, and now I have a giraffe and a half at the next page because the giraffe, has a half of a rope and it keeps going on and on and then it says like it gets really long at the end it says um you would have a giraffe and a half with like a hat and keeps going on and on and on with a bunch of half stuff stuff and then um the next book is who wants a cheap rhinoc rhinoceros, and um, I didn't get to read it. I started reading it today, but I didn't get to read it all. But it's by the same author. I'm looking forward to reading that. And this one, The Giving Treat. I love this book. It might, like, it's... This is one of my favorite authors, Civil, Civil Stern, I can't say it like, Shel, Silverstein, and he, it's about this, I, that's one of my favorite authors, and I have another favorite author too, but I got two other favorite authors, but this is one of them. The Pudding. It's like this. That's the printing and what the thing looks look like. And it's all about like this little boy. That's the little boy. And this tree, the little boy likes to climb up the tree and the tree loves them, him and loves when he comes up it and grabs her apples and stuff. And then the little boy keeps getting older and older and can't climb the tree and stuff because he's too old. She gets really sad, and then she takes a, uh, like, he, the little boy, like, uh, when he gets older, he, um, like, cuts down all the branches and all the apples to sell them. The apples were so he could sell them, and the branches were so he could, like, make a house for him, because he was so old and he needed a house. And another time he came back, he cut down 
another time when he came back, he cut down the whole trunk, so she was just like that. And the whole trunk um, was for a boat. He wanted to sail away because he didn't like it, just for a vacation. And then he was, she was all alone for a very long time. And then he comes back, and the tree says, I don't have anything else to give you now. I'm sorry. And then he says, all I want is somewhere to sit down. And she says, I have that. You can sit down on my log. And then this is, and this is the author. <laughs> and he's he looks scaly in this picture. And um, I read in this one book that um, this kid's dad um, always read it to him every night because he loved it. And he always used to um, read it and then switch it this way and say, this is the author. And then say, if you get up out of bed, then he'll come and get you. <laughs>